Hey guys, this is Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. Last week, we were given the opportunity to take a look at the latest smartphones by Samsung. We also got the chance to meet Sapco President James Jung at their office. It's quite different and special because Samsung's unpacked for the first half of the year usually happens in February. You would remember that last year we were in San Francisco, California to cover Unpacked for the Galaxy S20 series. This time, Samsung Unpacked sort of coincides the schedule of CES season and just several days after the launch of the new Exynos 2100 processor. Samsung is going all out again with their latest flagship smartphones. The leaked images turned out to be true and the new lineup really seems better than ever. You will generally get better specs, better camera, and quite a diverse range of display choices. Now let's start off with the best in the bunch, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The Ultra variant is usually where Samsung puts a lot of its top-end features. Skyrocketing numbers, the most capable cameras, and a lot more. It's a device that's reserved for those who are willing to pay the most premium price. They didn't change the naming convention yet again, which I think is okay. The most beefed up variant of the Korean tech giant's flagship lineup sports a 6.8 inch WQHD Plus display. You can now read the full name of the display for brevity's sake on your screen right now. But just to let you know, it has a 120 hertz of refresh rate and a peak brightness of 1500. The device also boasts an IP68 rating for water and dust resistance and an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner. Under the hood is a brand new 5 nanometer Exynos 2100 SoC which delivers up to 20% better CPU performance, up to 35% GPU performance, and 2 times faster AI processors. You get 12GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage, and there's also a pre-order only exclusive version which gives users about 16GB of RAM and 512GB of internal storage. For camera, you get an updated 108 megapixel wide angle camera with OIS and face detection. There's a laser autofocus mojo, a 12 megapixel ultra wide unit, and two 10 megapixel shooters with OIS. One of them can go 10 times, and the other one can go up to three times telephoto. Up front is a 40 megapixel snapper. Just like its previous generation, its camera sets include 8K video recording. Among all the S21 smartphones launched today, this device has S Pen support. This is surprising because it also puts a huge question about the fate of the Note series. We'll talk more about this concern pretty soon. I tried the S Pen support and the level of responsiveness are pretty much the same with my experience with the Note 20 Ultra. The S Pen accessory case, which you can buy separately, is neat but also adds heft to the S21 Ultra. It runs one UI 3.1 and packs 5,000 mAh battery with support for wired and wireless fast charging and wireless power share. This device will come in two colors. We have a Phantom Black, which I really like because it sports a matte finish, and Phantom Silver. Price starts at 69,990 pesos. Now let's move on to the S21 Plus. For some, a smaller device just doesn't do the job and the top end may be too pricey for some people. That's why Samsung ensures that there's a device that caters to various types of needs. Just like the middleman of the S21 series, the Galaxy S21 Plus. The S21 Plus has a slightly larger 6.7 inch display. You can now see the full specs right now on your screen with a 48 to 120 hertz dynamic refresh rate. This is a huge change versus last year's S20 Plus since the display of the S21 Plus is only full HD Plus compared to last year's QHD. Despite this, the price is a little more expensive than last year's launch price. Moreover, the device boasts an IP68 rating for water and dust resistance, and under the hood is a 5 nanometer SOC backed by 8 gig of RAM and either 128 or 256 gig of internal storage. In the optics department, the S21 Plus shares the same camera as its vanilla sibling. This means that you get a 12 megapixel main sensor with OIS and a 12 megapixel ultra wide unit and a 64 three times telephoto unit OIS. Up front is a 10 megapixel snapper. 
The S21 Plus runs on Samsung's One UI 3.1 and packs a 4800 mAh battery with both wired and wireless fast charging and wireless power share. Like the S20 series, it retains the ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner. The device comes in three colors, Phantom Violet, Phantom Black, and Phantom Silver, which you are seeing right now. Price starts at 57,990 pesos. Like a bit more expensive by 2,000 pesos versus last year's S20 Plus. How about the S21 or the Galaxy S21? Let's face it, some users just aren't willing to spend a ton of money for the most beefed up device in the series. And there are also some who just want a compact device that still does most of what its more expensive siblings can do. It's for this reason that a phone like the S21 exists. The Samsung Galaxy S21 uses the new contour cut camera design that seamlessly blends the camera module into the metal frame. You would see the series would actually have the same or employs the same design philosophy which some consumers might like or might not like. It's uh, an acquired taste to be honest and it took also a while for me to like it. Now, before I forget, among all the versions in the S21 series, the Galaxy S21's build is glastic. The rest are actually built on a metal frame. In terms of display, this one boasts a 6.2 inch Full HD plus dynamic AMOLED 2X display. It's much shorter this time. That was how I was able to say it out loud. <laughs> With about 48 to 120 hertz dynamic refresh rate and also has IP68 rating for water and dust resistance. Smaller isn't always less, as this device is also powered with a 5 nanometer SOC, that's the Exynos 2100, backed by 8 gig of RAM and either 128 or 256 gig of storage. The S21 packs a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide unit, and a 64 3 times telephoto unit with OIS. Up front is a 10 megapixel snapper. The device is also capable of 8K video recording up to 30 FPS and 4K up to 60 FPS. It runs on Samsung's One UI 3.1 as well and packs a 4000 mAh battery with both wired and wireless fast charging and wireless power share. It also retains the same thing, ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner. You know what, there's a lot of things very much similar with uh, all the series. You have the contour cut design of the camera, similar or different rather from the previous generation square design. And uh, all of these can go up to 120 frames per second or 120 hertz display. And they all have ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner. The S21 comes in four colors. We have the Phantom Violet, which my wife would probably want. The Phantom Pink, which my sister would love to have. Phantom Grey, and also Phantom White. No Phantom Black for this series, or I mean for this particular phone. Price starts at 49,990 pesos. So uh, there you have it. These are all the phones in the S21 series. If you want uh, more coverage of the Unpack 2021, head on to gadgetfilipinas.net and also subscribe to our channel. This has been Gian of Gadget Filipinas. Thank you guys for watching.